Welcome to the Divas Page Academy. This is Kareen. I'm really excited this week because I'm going to have a series of videos about lead generation. Why I decided to do this because most of the job that I saw sa Afford Online Jobs at PH Facebook LinkedIn is about lead generation. So there are some misconceptions then about lead generation that I want to clear sa video na ito. Okay? So, um, I have some tips then sa mga darating na video on how to do the lead generation. So, sa ngayon, we'll just have the foundation of lead generation, the terminologies, and other stuff that you need to know. Alright? So, I have my discussion buddy. His name is Andrew. And he's going to discuss about lead generation, an example of lead generation. All right, Andrew, it's your turn. Lead generation is the process of attracting and converting strangers and prospects into someone who has indicated an interest in your company's product or services. Examples of lead generators are the following, social media marketing, SMS and email marketing, digital marketing, telemarketing or cold calling, web research. All right, thank you so much, Andrew, for helping me in this lesson. So we're going to discuss it further. Let's get started. This lesson, you will learn how to become a lead generation specialist. So this is a part one of our lesson because there will be a series of videos that are related to lead generation specialists. Okay, uh, I'm going to discuss it further how to become a lead generation specialist. So like um, what Andrew said, lead generation is the process of attracting and converting a stranger, which is your leads or your target client that may avail or get the product of services of a company or your company na client. Lead generation is one of the um, in-demand job sa VA kasi most of the businesses in the U.S. and other parts of the world are looking for a customer or a client that may get or avail their services or a product. There are different um, type of lead generation kasi once we say lead generation hindi lang siya nakapokus sa calling it can be a social media which is ito yung pinaka, pinaka in demand din na lead generation process we are getting leads through social media marketing SMS and email marketing wherein we sending texts or email sa ating mga target leads paid ads or digital marketing, dito papasok si Google Ads, YouTube, Facebook Ads, and Instagram Ads. So normally, if someone saw the ads and they show interest, they will sign up in a landing page. They will become your lead. Telemarketing and cold calling, it's a sa mga um, kumbaga old school na lead generation, but until now, marami pa rin mga businesses ang gumagamit ito kasi ang Good thing with telemarketing and cold calling is you can get the motivation right away. Not like with other non-voice lead generation, hindi mo matutukoy if they are really interested because you haven't talked to them by a phone. Kumbaga, they just send a message or they, they just show interest digitally. And that's the web research. So we are um, searching information sa internet na pwede nating kontakin via call, email, text, or whatever so a marketing campaign ang pinili ng client mo na ipagawa sa iyo. Alright? So, next is, there are different types of leads. We have to know this as a lead generation specialist kasi hindi lahat na nag inquire sa, uh, let's say, sa social media post, hindi lahat yan ay 
may intention. They are interested, but they don't have an intention. Kumbaga, they just want to know more about it, but they don't need it or they don't have any plan to get it. All right, so first is called lead. So they display any interest in the product or services, but they don't have a good, uh, not, not good, but um, high intention or motivation to obtain a product or services. But for cold leads, since they have interest, we need to nurture or make a follow-up doon sa mga nag-show ng interest sa product or services. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say there is someone who signed up doon sa landing page ng client nyo at napunta siya sa CRM. Of course, you Though they don't respond immediately, they don't you don't know that if they're interested or not, you have to make a follow-up or send some email or text enable for them to uh you know, convert natin into hot or warm lead. Right? So next is a warm lead. So na mention ko nga ito kanina. So so warm lead, aside from being interested in the offer. They also follow the business, your business pages or your clients' business pages, um, website, or maybe they are watching the video sa YouTube or sa Facebook. So it means that they are really following it. Maybe they have um, intention, but they are at, they are waiting for a right time, for a right budget. So it, for warm lead is we have to make a follow-up. So, paano pa ito ginagawa yung follow-up? It can be a callback, email, or text. So, let's say, you know, example ko nga kanina, yung, yung landing page or sa sales funnel ng client mo, na sign up siya, then, um, nakaka-receive siya ng mga email, then, um, pwede natin siyang send lang ng text or tawagan. So, ganun ang lead generation kailangan talagang matyaga tayo ito. Kasi, ang iba, katulad sa amin sa cold calling, we're just um, gathering leads and ask them if they're interested. Then, yung isang kasamahan ko, which is the acquisition manager, siya yung nag-follow up, siya yung nagsasend ng email, siya lahat. Pero may iba rin client, uh, katulad sa isang mga, sa isa sa mga VAs ko, actually, tatlo sila, aside from lead generation, sila na rin yung gumagawa ng follow-up. Or, for example, may Zoom meeting yung client, uh, which is kasi ang business nila is real estate coaching. Kapag may, ano, may Zoom meeting, pini-PM nila sa Facebook, sinasendan nila ng email or text. So, depende sa setup ni client yun. Kung baga, sa lead generation, normally, beginning lang siya. Ibalik yung nagpa-follow up. Pero, may mga client na gusto nila from the beginning until the end of the transaction, ikaw yung involved doon. Alright? So, next is hot lead. The hot lead, they are considered as qualified lead. So, ito yung talagang pasok na sa banga, makoklose deal na to ni client. Why they are qualified leads? Because they have budget. So, let's say yung example ko nga kanina, yung coaching business ng client ko, they have a budget to sign up in a course. Then, they have authority. Sila yung nagbidesisyon. Hindi na nila kailangan pang itanong sa asawa o sa nanay or tatay nila if they're going to sign up in a course. Needs. They have deep, parang gusto na nila ito kasi kailangan nilang matuto about sa real estate investing, and time frame, and they will sign up as soon as possible. So, ganun yun. Parang, so let's have another example. Sa, sa ano naman to? Sa e-commerce setup. Yung customer mo, he has a budget to buy the product. Siya ang nag-decide sa kanilang pamilya since siya yung tatrabaho. And he need that product, and he want it as soon as possible. All right, so we already discussed the type of leads in lead generation. So what is lead specialist or lead generation specialist? So if you're going to work as a lead generation specialist, you are um, typically created to gather lead in small businesses, 
um, you can do business to business or business to customers industry. So your primary job is to acquire and evaluate new lead. So why you have to evaluate? Because like what I mentioned earlier, not all leads are qualified. Baka cold lead lang sila, they, they are just interested, but they don't have an intent, they don't have a budget, they really don't need it. Okay? So next, um, before we continue in this video, I just want you to subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, click the notification bell para makalasid kayo ng mga updated trainings from our um, YouTube channel. You can also like our page, our Facebook page, DBSPH Academy, and join our Facebook group, Work From Home Professional Philippines. You can search it on your uh, search at uh, engine or so Facebook or you can check the link below. All right, so going back to so lesson natin, ano bang ginagawa ng mga lead generation specialist? So whatever lead generation kung land voice or calling bayan, most of the tasks are the same. Okay? So first is you gather leads using a marketing or use by a marketing campaign ng pinili mo or pinili ni client. So, katulad nga na example ko kanina, yung sa mga VAs ko, they are non-voice lead generation specialists. They contacting the leads via prospecting or sending messages sa Facebook, sa LinkedIn, Instagram. They also do cold email. Okay? So, yung mga VA ko na yan, they don't have any BPO or VA experience, but they know how to use social media. And they know how to send email. So actually, for non-voice lead generation specialists, na mention ko nga yung through social media, um, as long as you know how to use computer, you know how to search um, sa mga target lead mo, kasi normally they have templates na eh. So, i-copy-paste lang yung template, then send it to those target lead. Actually, on on this on my uh, sa mga susunod kong video, I'm gonna show you how it works. So introduction pa lang to binigyan ko lang kayo ng overview. So next is once they send message or nagsend sila ng message, may magre response. They have to qualify the leads. Are they really real estate investors? Are they new to the real estate investing business, or they just want to know more about it, but hindi naman, wala pa sila sa real estate. Okay? Or di kaya, ito ba talaga ay may budget, may kakayahang magbayad. Okay? Next, follow up on those interested lead. Yung mga nasabi, yes, I'm interested, I will attend on Zoom meeting, pinafollow up nila yun. Nurturing the warm and hot leads, they can send email, um, campaign, text, and whatever, um, ano pang source yung normally email and text ang ginagamit nila. And sometimes PM pa rin sa Facebook. That's the way they nurture the leads. And also, minimalish din nila yung, so, yung Facebook group ng client na yon. And they sent, eh, they post some um, posts or social media posts na nag add sa value ng mga target client nila or target leads nila. Okay. So, ano ba ang kailangan natin to become a lead generation specialist? Of course, you have an exceptional communication skills. Since most of our clients are American or um, nagsasulita ng English, we have to have a exceptional communication skills, especially if cold calls or telemarketing ang iyong lead or ang iyong mga um, ginagawa. Right? So, next. Next is you have to be familiar with CRM software. So let's say um, you use Podio as your CRM. Ano mang leads or whatever type of leads niya, so hold and hot or warm, you have to put it on the CRM para ma-follow up or ma-nurture itong leads. Na there are a lot of um, CRM, HubSpot, Podio, and a lot more. You can search it on, on Google. 
then you have to be familiar with each step of sales funnel. Kung ito yung um, napili yung platform is digital marketing. Of course, you, you should know how to set up a sales funnel. Um, and lastly, you have analytical approach to data. You have to make sure that all leads ay follow up all leads ay ma-convert into warm or hot lead. Kung talagang hindi na siya pwedeng ma-convert, you can just put it as a dead lead. Sinabi natin dead lead, they don't have any interest to avail service. And they said, no, don't call me back or don't chat me, don't send me a message. Of course, kung sinabi nila yon, you don't need to send them a message or call them kasi nga hindi nga talaga sila interesado na. Alright, so this is the part one of lead generation. I'm going to post a video on part two of lead generation. All right? See you on the next video.